Uh, we have three hinges here from the Bloom 110 uh, degree series, 110 degree opening. Um, a straight arm hinge, um, which they call the overlay hinge, uh, a half cranked hinge, which they call partial overlay, <clears throat> and then a full cranked hinge, which is uh, for inset doors. So that's how the hinge cups look. Like, look. Uh, when they're actually attached to the cabinet. Let's look first of all at the straight arm hinge with an 11 millimeter fixed distance and how does that play out when you attach a door to it. This is our cabinet and as you can see we have a zero mounting plates attached here. Now we're going to take a look at how does that look when we put the hinge on the on the door. This is a straight arm hinge. It's a soft closing. Uh, when the hinge is attached to the door, uh, like you see right here, uh, then it has a fixed distance of 11. That means that the hinge cup uh, overlays the side panel of the door by 11 millimeters. Uh, that's if you use a straight arm hinge on a zero mounting plate. Um, and now let's uh, have, have a look at it uh, when we attach the door. Um, we'll attach the hinges to the door and then attach that to the cabinet and look at, look at the effect that it has on the cabinet. Uh, we have the door drilled um, the boring distance is five millimeters from the edge of the cabinet door to the edge of the hole. This is a five millimeter boring distance. And we're going to attach our hinges. This is the inserta style hinge. So you have the holes drilled with eight millimeter um, holes for the hinge dowels. And just snap the hinge onto the cabinet door. This is a very popular hinge in the cabinet industry. There, hinges are on the door with a drilling distance from the edge of the door to the edge of the hole, five millimeters. Now let's attach our door with the straight arm hinges to the cabinet. Now the door is attached and because we have a boring distance of 5 millimeters and a fixed distance of 11, 5 plus 11 is 16 millimeters. Our overlay will be 16 millimeters or 5 eighths of an inch when we use a zero plate. And then because the side panel is 3 quarters of an inch thick, there will be a reveal that you can see here of uh, 3 millimeters or 1 eighth of an inch. Now behind the door, we have what they call a gap, and the gap is 1.5 millimeters. That's a factory preset that way. Let's do a short recap. We mounted a zero millimeter mounting plate 37 millimeters back from the front edge of the cabinet. And uh, that was a straight arm hinge that we attached to it. And then the hinge cup overlays the side of the cabinet by 11 millimeters. That's the fixed distance the hinge cup overlay. You see we added the door there and it has a boring distance of 5 millimeters. So with our fixed distance of 11, a boring distance of 5, we have an overlay of 16 millimeters. Um, our door overlays the cabinet side. And finally you see in green the 1.5 millimeter gap between the door and the side panel of the cabinet. I hope I hope this video was helpful, and um, if it was, uh, give her the thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.